Hi, this is a quick video showing how to download and install fonts on a Mac. There are various places you can get your fonts from off the internet, but I tend to use this site in the main, dafont.com. And my Mac is set up, and I've not done this, this is how it came to me when I bought it, but on the bottom right hand side here, the very last three icons on my Mac are the rubbish bin, the downloads folder and documents. So when I download anything from the internet, it automatically drops into this download folder. Now, if you don't have that folder there, if you come to Finder and select Finder, you should find your, you should find your download folder here. So whenever you download anything, it will be there. You can drag that download folder and put it here on the taskbar. But as I say, mine came with it already here, so I assume that's the default setting. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come to the first set of fonts and I'm going to choose Groovy and I'm just going to download any font and hopefully I don't, I'm going to choose this first one and hopefully I've not got this already installed on my computer. So that's the one I want. I click on download. You'll see it's dropped straight into there. I can close this down now. All as I need to do on my Mac now is go to the download folder. I usually drag it out onto the desktop and then just double click it and it will automatically install it for me. So what you need to look for is the, the true type font. So the there'll be several documents in this folder and it's the one that ends TTF, which is the true type font. So if you double click that, it will now open up this window. It's showing you the font and I'm gonna click install font. And that's it, it's installed, it's there. So when I open up an application now, I should be able to use this raccoon. So if I close it down, and if I open up something like Inkscape, okay, so if I just zoom in to make this bigger and click on the text icon, Go up here, there's Raccoon. Now mine seems to default, once I've selected a font, mine seems to always default back to Impact, which is the default font I've set within Inkscape. I think this is a bug, so if I select it and choose the fonts again, and then just come up here and start to type raccoon, there you go, so there's my font now. So that is as simple as it gets really to download and install a font, and that applies to even if the folder is zipped. It will drop into your downloads folder, just double click it, it will automatically unzip it and then from within this folder you find the true type font, double click that again and it installs. Now on my Mac if you press, I'll, I'll, I press the F4 button on my keyboard and I've put mine in a folder called iLife. Yours might be separate out here somewhere. But if I go onto here, you'll find something called Font Book. And if you open up Font Book, it should show you all the fonts that are installed on your computer. And Raccoon is there. So that's where your fonts go to into the Font Book. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.